What's going on guys? 40 Brothers here for our second uh, Mustang video. If yeah. you guys didn't see the first one, this is our 2007. If you didn't see the first one, shame on you. Yeah, shame on you. You yeah. probably should go see it, but this is our 2007 Mustang GT California Special. Cheapest one in the country, 5,500 bucks. Yep, just picked it up. Just picked it up like what, two days ago? Two days ago. I don't ago. know, I'm gonna post this video, but. Oh, uh, well, whatever. We just picked it up yeah. uh, from right outside Detroit, Michigan. And um, we have not done anything to the car yet, so we're gonna go yeah, ahead no and. No uh, detailing, nothing. This is exactly how we picked it up, and it's dirty. So let's go ahead and show you. I'll let Matt show you guys. All right, guys, first things first. Take a look at the front of the car. It's, as you can tell, it's 215,000 miles. There is a ton of stone chips that we're gonna get fixed up. A couple and, little uh, dents here and there. I see some like, dents here and there throughout the hood, the trunk. There's probably one probably hail, pillar. if I had to guess. One, a couple on the trunk. You see a couple up there. It's probably hail damage, yeah. It's, it, it's not bad though, but it, sh it should all pop out. We're gonna have a uh, paint and repair fix that but yeah a ton of stone chips if you look at the front real close the front bumper is extremely extremely worn out like this is supposed to be gloss and you can tell that is like rough as like matt it almost is as, as, as rough as this down here yeah no clear coat at all i mean it's it's very rough this might need to be really? scratched up a little bit the headlights are completely faded uh another thing i want to say too this we told you guys in the last video this is a i think we did one owner car and the previous owner said it's never been driven in the snow, and I believe because the underneath is very clean. We'll show you that, but let me let me show you guys something. If you guys this know, crazy part. if you guys know anything about this generation of Mustang, and honestly, I think all the way up until what 2014. Yeah, I say you guys will know the this hood all the way across, especially right here and on the corners, yeah, like on the are side. known to rust. As a matter of fact, we know a couple people with 30,000 mile examples completely covered in rust. Yeah, I'll see and this. I want you guys to look at this. There is zero rust going across this I hood. See, there's there's no bubbling whatsoever. Zero. You can see nothing. Thing. Tons of stone chips. And then we'll, we'll pop we'll pop it under and you can see it, it is smooth. There's zero sign of rust on this thing. Yeah, see there I mean there is I don't even know how because you would think the stone chips Honestly, are not even, none of the stone chips are on the fenders or anything are all rusty. Yeah, see I don't know if what's all aluminum on these. Cut I've, me off again, Nick. Huh? Cut me off again. But anyways, there's no rust there, but obviously the front is gonna need some work. The paint on this, it's not too sunny right now, so you can't really tell, but the paint is completely swirled up. It's very nasty. Um there's some scratching and stuff here and there. These are probably, in my opinion, the best Mustang wheels from this generation. Stock wheels. But uh, they're in pretty good shape. I don't really see any curbing. Maybe a couple. A couple New tires. Ones, yeah, tires are good condition. All right, take a look at the side down here. I see there's a there's a dent right there. I don't know if you can I tell. I see there's a, a dent there. Um, I mean, you can't tell. It's so dirty, you can't see the scratches. But it looks like it's a pretty pretty decent shape. Look. Scratches for, here. I mean, obviously, this one is down. But this car doesn't even have window tint. doesn't even have the like yeah, side louvers right there. This car, it's so stock that there's not even tint on. I mean, it's, this is literally like the virgin example. The Virgin Mary right, right here. There's a same dent right thing, there. Yeah, a couple of dents. Same thing back. Rear wheels in nice condition. Look, wait, let's look at these fender wells. I say fender wells are look at that. very dirty, but dirty, but look, look inside. There. There's zero rust on this thing. Yeah, I say it's extremely dirty. Take a look at the back here. A uh, couple dents. See, there's dents up De there. This definitely had a little bit of hail damage at one point. Yeah, definitely. You can't see, there's a little damage here, but you can't see too much because the car is just so yeah. filthy right now. Exhaust there's exhaust tips are disgusting. Um, same thing on this side. There's a couple dents here and there. Some scratches. I think this, this door had a few dents on somewhere. I don't know if you can see some chippage. Or not, but yeah, I say it's a couple scratches, whatnot. This mirror, we have to fix the mirror. Yeah, it's mirror. Broken. This actually cracks. We might just replace it. Anybody see going to see seconds? He's like, it's not too bad. It's a pain, you know, some fiberglass. <laughs> you can book under 60. Car. <laughs> I forget the rest, but there's that a little, right there. little dent there. A couple dents on the roof, too. It's kind of, it has to be from hail. I don't know what else it'd be from, but it's a beater, man. I say the wheels are, hey, it looks pretty good. The wheels are all in decent shape. I don't think we need anything to them. No, the wheels are. I mean, they're going to get eventually probably replaced. As far as the outside, what we're going to be doing first, obviously, we're going to be posting a full, like a full-blown detail video on this. We're going to touch up all the um, stone chips with a paint pen, and uh, the interior is. I mean, it's. Well, once you guys see the detail, I mean, the interior on this. Yeah, go and pop the hood. One thing about this interior, if you guys, like I said, if you guys know the generation Mustang. We'll go over it. There's a lot of things that just happen on these cars. It doesn't really matter the miles. It's just like common wear things that kind of like faulty from Ford. And on this car, it looks like the interior is brand new. Before you show them the engine, all I'm gonna say is this engine probably has never been cleaned. It's filthy. Woo, baby. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at look at that. I say that this engine is absolutely filthy. I mean, there's, look at this, there's like grass. No rust though, look at that. Look at this, how dirty. Look at that. Completely filthy. Like I said, it looks like it's never been clean. Bone stock. When did they put the, this nice cover on it? What, 06? 07 was the first year they put this cover on. Yeah, look, that's yeah. a nice cover. There's actually a cigarette button here, look. Yeah. You can see I that. Mean, look how dirty that is. In there, but I mean, it's, it's absolutely filthy. It looks like it's in good shape, though. Are... I mean, look, look at the level of dirt. Look at that. I don't even want to touch it so dirty. Yeah, so you can tell this, this engine's bright. Hey, let me go back over here. Look at this. No rust at so all. Look at this. 
Not, not even a little bit of, not, no, not even bubbling on, on the, the tip of this. I say I don't, I literally don't see any bubbling at all, nothing. But like I said, this car. I, mean, I, I bet you you couldn't find one this clean in California. Seriously. No, I see. Even though, even the examples I the, see with like 50, 60 thousand miles. The rust. They always have that bubble, or they always have some weird, you know, wear. Honestly, on if, if the paint was good on this, I would believe that it was, it was repainted. I mean, a brand new hood. Yeah, see, but obviously you can. But tell, obviously you can tell this is an original hood. It's an original hood. The stickers are on here, and you can tell the wear. It just matches the rest of the exterior, and it looks like there was never any any signs of book. Well, you body can... work done, but you can't really tell until we get a detail because once we put it under our light, we'll be able to see if there was, you know, body work done. But I mean, this... I think, though, isn't their bumper like messed up right here a little bit? This looks like a tall factory. Yeah, thing. there's a little pinch right there on the bumper right here somewhere. I think that like a little waviness you see in the paint. I think it's buffing. Just, it's a Ford. It's I mean, it's got a good reflection though. You can see me. It'll be amazing after a polish. It's Ford paint, so I mean, you know, it's not going to be like what we're used to seeing Mercedes paint, but let's take a look at the interior now. Because... All right, this is the bread and butter. <laughs> this interior now. Show them the door panels. We'll, we'll be, Show the people. First off, let's say this. It's California Special and it's a premium, so that's why it has the two tone seats. California Special, you have two options black and tan or black and gray. Obviously, we got the tan. Let me show off these door panels. And this is this is the part that I just don't understand because every single Mustang from this generation, the leather on the door panels, they, they come sag, off. They sag and they peel. And then you're left with cardboard look. And this one is absolutely perfect. Both sides. Both perfect. sides. Show look them. at the buttons. Look. No, you can see. No wear. Show them the floor mats. Look at the floor mats. I said any previous owner had rubber mats on here. So look at the door seals. I mean, these mats. The are, wells are dirty, but they'll be clean. They need clean a little bit. This but is not even that scratch. These mats are absolutely perfect. Carpets are perfect. Show them the seat here. Look at the seat. Look at the seat. There is zero. We we know somebody that has a what twenty thousand mile um, California Special O seven, nice and it, the, his seats look worse than this. I say if you just I mean the seat is just, it's obviously original too. But look at the condition of this, and we didn't do anything to this. No leather reek, nothing. That's just exactly how we got it. Look at the steering wheel. That's another one. I'll show you the steering wheel. Look at the buttons. Look at the leather. Absolutely perfect. The leather. The leather. There's no abnormal wear. I'm actually, the ship knob. Look I'm gonna step done. in here for a second and show you guys this. Dash is in perfect condition. This is all perfect. The radio, Every anybody that knows anything about Mustangs, this generation of um, Mustang, the radios, the buttons always wear out. These are always completely worn out, which is white, white so clear. bad to the point where you can't even see what the button even it's said. White. And this one has literally no wear on them at all. It's absolutely perfect. These, everything will work. Well, I guess the CD player doesn't work. There's a CD jammed in there, but that is all in literally perfect condition. Heated seats on this one, which you don't see too many with heated seats, but. Check out that shift knob though, look. The shift knob, out. original shift knob. Let me see if I can get it to focus in. Look at this. There's like hardly anywhere on it all. The interior of this car literally does not passenger seat and door panel. It does not match the exterior. Let's put it that way. But we'll go around. I'll show you the other side from the other side. Once again, this car, like we said, super dirty. Look at the door wells, how dirty. No rust though. I don't see any rust. Very, very dirty. I mean, look at those door hinges. I mean, so you could you could tell, like, I mean, these are just very dirty door wells. So this car definitely needs good cleaning. But we'll show you the back seats too while we're here. Obviously, the back seats, as you'd imagine, they're in super, super good condition. Looks like they're hardly even used. Look at the floors. Yeah, I, I see. Mean, the carpets, I mean, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on it, but I mean, they, they look like brand new. They literally look like they're brand the interior new. interior on this is so, looks so new that if, if, if the previous owner said I just had the whole interior redone, I'd believe it. That's I say, I mean, just looks. look at this. Look, at, it's, it honestly blows my mind because we only, we didn't get too many pictures of this before we made the drive out to buy it. So I was a little worried about That's what the, what what the interior though. condition would be like, but it, it literally blows my mind how nice it is. Outside, exactly what I expected. Stone chips, scratches, dents. It's nothing like DVD 5 though. Yeah. DVD 5's got double the miles and it's like showroom. Condition. We'll show you the passenger side now. The same thing, the leather on the door, absolutely perfect. No wrinkles, Sh no sagging. Notice. No rust. I say no rust on the bottom of the door. I don't know if the, well, it's kind of dark. I don't know if the camera could pick up on it or but not, but. We, we touched it all up. Super, super clean. The door walls are, I mean, they're dirty, but there's no rust, which is, you know, the main thing. Once again, the carpet's absolutely perfect. Looks like there's not even any scratches on that. Here's the passenger seat. I mean, it's just beautiful. It really is. It doesn't even have window. Tape. Headliner is absolutely perfect. I mean, everything in the interior is literally perfect. It needs nothing at all. Try literally to find nothing. Seven Mustang GT without exhaust and window tint. I know. I, guess, I say honestly, I think the thing that blows my mind the most about this car is that 200,000 mile, well, 215, one owner. About to be 216. I say the previous owner said he did nothing but synthetic oil changes, and we have the receipts to show it. Completely stock, because usually, you know, these cars are getting old. They usually get passed around three, four, five owners. They're always very heavily modified. This one, high school kids get a hold of them. Yeah, this one is completely stock, no tent, and it's like the perfect, like, ideal scenario when buying like an old Mustang yeah. like this. Like, it's absolutely perfect. If we would have had this um, high school, oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we didn't have it, but uh, maybe we'll go for a little ride again and show you guys right in the interior. And not the interior, but the driving aspects of it. But um, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna talk about later about what kind of mods we're gonna be doing to this car. Not nothing too crazy, but you know your usual bolt ons and whatnot. And um. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. All right, guys, going for a ride in the Mustang. 
Um, and while we're going for a little ride, oh man, jerking it, Matt. Um, while we go for a ride, we'll talk about it. Hope you guys can hear us. Um, we post a couple pictures on our Instagram on our story, and a lot of people ask us why we got a Mustang. And for those that yeah. for those that don't know, um, our favorite car like of all time is Mustangs. Like that's been our dream car since we were little kids. Um, our favorite car is you know Eleanor the '67 replica, you know Shelby. So growing up, we've always wanted a Mustang, and then you know we got into the Mercedes thing, and it's just been 10 years of buying Mercedes. So and every time we wanted to buy a Mustang. These were always more money than the Mercedes, so we just end up getting a Mercedes. So obviously, naturally, you know, we're always looking, and we come across this one. Well, I, I think a better way, to, the better way, just get the put nostalgia it, too. The better way to put it is this. So obviously, you know, we're huge car enthusiasts. People always ask why, why we bought this Mustang because you know it doesn't really match anything in our collection. And the real reason is because, like Nick said, obviously we're huge um, Mustang fans, especially with. Um, Eleanor from Gone in 6 Seconds. That Mustang is like absolutely perfect. And this has like that 67 fastback uh, style look almost. When we were in high school, the Mustang that we always wanted was an S197, the 05, the 09 body style, and uh, preferably a California Special. Yeah. And we, these cars, I mean, they weren't that much brand. I think they were around 30,000. 30, yeah. 32,000. Something, something, something like that. Yeah. But obviously, you know, we didn't get one when we were in high school and stuff. And we, we also love, we really love Porsche and Mercedes. That's like our other two car, car brands that we were like, and when you compare like what you get for the money of a used Mercedes to like something like this, well, obviously you're like, well, you know, why would yeah. you buy the Mustang? Because you can buy like an AMG or something that's going to be way faster, way better of a car yeah, obviously this for, you know, the same, if not less money. So we, you know, being huge Mercedes fans, we just started buying Mercedes and collecting them. And obviously you guys, you, you know, guys if you know ever all, all our videos, you know that we love Mercedes and we got, you know, a decent collection now. And but we always really wanted this Mustang, and you know, matter of fact, when we were little kids when this car came out, we had a die the die cast, yeah, uh, uh, like the one what is it, 118 scale, yeah, yeah, a die cast of a California special. It was it, the die cast is red, it's like a yeah, rare one and, in 3000. Uh, and so, obviously, we've always wanted this one of this uh generation of Mustang. We kept putting it on a backboard, like, oh, eventually, you know, someday we'll get one, someday, someday. we'll get one, and um. Just, I was on Auto Trader and I found it. I yeah, like, we're, you know, Matt, every night, man. if you guys don't know, you know, on the Conforti Brother Instagram, we post all the Mercedes yeah. we find. Well, when we don't post Mercedes, we're looking at Mustangs. Yep. So I'm over here, you and know, Porsche, love and Porsche. Porsche. I'm yeah. over here responding to you guys on Instagram, and Matt, Matt's all excited. He goes, Nick, Nick, come over here. Look at this. <laughs> He's like, I think I found our next car, I think, and we're probably going to buy it. There's some emergency people going on over here. So Matt finds the car online, emails the guy, and two days later, we go out to Detroit and pick it up. And then I say about this one too is it wasn't expensive. It was a cheaper car. I mean, obviously, because it has a lot of miles, it's got a lot of wear. It's but... the cheapest one in the country when we bought it, but yeah. it's the second highest mileage. Yeah, and the nice thing about this one too is that, you know, because it's higher mileage, we can really test out the car and see, you know, what a high mileage Mustang, how they, and, you know, hold up over time and whatnot. Yeah. But it's got the main road here. Anybody come don't in? stall, don't stall, don't stall. I'm, stall. I'm just going to ease into a little bit. Honestly, it's not as fast as the E55 or the E550, really. But I tell you, with the manual, it's so much fun to drive. I hope you can hear all the wind noise. But yeah, I say, a lot of people are saying, like, why would you buy it's this good car? Camera angle. Look at that. That's a good camera angle. Good camera angle. A lot of people were telling us, like, why would you buy this? You have a, you know, an AMG. You know, th this car is not fast and all that stuff. It's a nostalgia. You know it's like a nostalgia, like you know, because like we we're said, like we're back in high school again. We've wanted this car for so long, and now that we have it, and, and to be honest. You know, it might not be faster than our other cars, but it's it's so much fun, and, and you know, speed's it's, not always it's like, the, it's like the Causey. The Causey's obviously slow as hell. I'm gonna put these up a little bit. But I tell you, it's so much fun. Please, put a little bit of here. Yeah, I say speed's not everything. You know, this car is not as fast as you know the new 50s, and you know, it's definitely not the fastest by any means. But it's so much fun, and you don't really need a whole lot of power to have. It's fun. a lot of looks. I say this one only makes 300 horsepower stock. If, if you do bolt-ons. What's a torque like 390? No, torque's like 320. Oh god. Yeah, I say if you do bolt on. See, that's our E55's well, got 200 more pound of torque. Yeah, something like that. If you, oh, I'm up to the lighting in there. There we go. If you do uh, bolt ons on these cars, you can squeeze out about 350 crank, you know, maybe more, maybe less. Some people, I've seen as much as uh, 390 something uh, crank, you know, that's full a, build a, or aggressive whatever. tune. No, not, not even like There's a that one guy that did a full build bolt on. Yeah, yeah, he did a fully, he boarded out the 5.0. Yeah, and obviously we're, we, we have a lot of stuff planned for this car, which you guys will be seeing in you know, future videos, but. Uh, the next video we're going to be posting on this is going to be a full-blown uh, detail. Like we're going to do, I don't know how aggressive a paint correction we're going to do because I don't know what the condition of the paint is like, but we're definitely going to polish it up. got to clean it up a little bit. Make it look better. Um, we're going to do a full engine bay cleaning, interior cleaning, and then we'll show off the car and, you know, really get an idea of what the condition of this thing is like. Yeah, going to get some touch-up paint. Nice and easy. Oh, oh boy. Rock
like you're rocking. That's good though. Ease into it a little bit. But I'll tell you, this car is so much fun to drive. Oh what, a, what a blast. I mean, it, it's amazing how much, you know, you would think, a lot of people will say, oh, you need to buy all these really expensive cars to have fun. You know, you need to buy the fastest. This obviously isn't the fastest by what, any means. I said, we drove around. It's not, it's not an exotic. It, it's yeah. literally a $5,000 Mustang. It's and absolutely, it's, a blast. It's, it's such a blast to drive. I say, a couple years ago, we drove a Roush State Street, like 600 horsepower Roush. And honestly, it was the power was useless. I mean, you yeah, literally spent. It was I think like 575 horsepower, and, and literally you had the stock. What uh, was it? 2013 State Street. Had the stock Roush. I think they're 20 inch wheels. They're not yeah. big enough. The tires on it were trash. No hook up at all. You Hold couldn't up. hook up at all. Kind of like the SL65. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. But the nice thing about this Mustang is that it's all usable power. Yeah, definitely. You just need the trash control off, so you don't need to take out any crowds and whatnot. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. We're just gonna go for a ride, show you guys the condition of the car. Um, we still don't know if we're gonna make another account for the, the Mustang or put it on our uh, one of our other photography accounts. We're gonna work on that. Yeah, see, so our Forty Bar account on Instagram is gonna be dedicated just Mercedes. It's all Mercedes. I think we're gonna keep it that way. So we're either gonna make a new account for our Mustang and for the other cars. We have Jeeps too. Like people think, well, you know, they ever thought we were weird for buying a Mustang. Yeah. I'm like, no, we, we got, got two Jeeps. We have other cars, and we're, we're gonna buy like other cars besides Mercedes. But we'll probably have to either make a new page or just convert one of our old pages into, you know. Yeah, yeah so but until we do that follow us at the 40 brothers and uh you know that's where all of our mercedes stuff is and maybe we'll post some mustang stuff on the stories but follow us there and um we'll see you guys in the next video